What you're looking at here is either the best or the worst decision I have ever made on a purchase in an op shop. What you're looking at is a Pentax K1000 camera. And to be fair, I have absolutely no knowledge on cameras. And when I'm trying to flip stuff for a profit, knowledge is the first thing that I work off. I work off what I know, how much it goes on to sell for, and how much I think I can get for it. Never do I spend $125 on something that I don't know. So this is a huge risk. There's two lenses that come along with this bundle. There's a 135 millimeter Pentax lens and there's a 50 millimeter Pentax lens on the body of the camera. But that is all I know. We're trying to make money. We're trying to sell it for a profit on eBay. So, so you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Now guys, I'm smiling, not because I'm on camera, but because we've got a bunch of great shoes to pick from here. Have a look at this. We've got the Asics GT2000. These are a really nice colorway. $20. They can push upwards of 100 bucks if they're in good condition. Well, the soles on these, I deem them to be pretty good, so I've gone ahead and grabbed them. These ones here as well. We've got the Nike Utility Shield. These are the Pegasus 35s, and they go for about 70 bucks. Basically, it's just a waterproof version of the shoe, which I thought was pretty cool. We've got some video game consoles and some video games to have a quick chat about here. Really cool find. This was a great donation into this op shop but what was not great is the way they went about their price points unfortunately this was pretty much matching exactly what i was seeing on ebay this game right here rust on the ps4 about 50 bucks 35 dollars i just can't be doing that guys so i sifted through every single game because you've got to do your due diligence and you've got to have a look for every single opportunity but unfortunately on this occasion there just wasn't any this one here i almost went for 20 bucks goes into about 40 bucks just couldn't be doing that though in the end oblivion though I ended up grabbing this one. Two bucks, a great purchase price, turns into about 15. So there were a couple of little grabs in there, but it wasn't the best start. Guys, what have I done? $125 spent on something I have absolutely no experience in, in cameras. I've just gone ahead and made the purchase. Um, fingers crossed it could be worth some money because I am trying to find profit out here. And uh, that was definitely a risky purchase. But um, stick around to the end of the video. I'll do some research on it throughout the day and let you know how much I think it's worth. I, I should really say as well, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well this is week six of my thrift my way to the usa video series we're trying to dig around these thrift stores to find profit that we can sell on ebay if i can save up eight thousand dollars over a 16 week period i'm heading over to the us i'm going to try and find even more crazy items in thrift stores over there very excited for it hopefully you can be on board for the ride remember to hit the subscribe button give this video a like if you're digging the video so far and uh we'll jump back into the next one and see what we can find Guys, how sweet is this zip-up jumper from Adidas? I don't know who that little dude is hanging out with the logo, but I just love the look of it. It was a size large. I reckon it's in pretty much light new condition, not a mark on it. I reckon the resale value could be pretty high with this one, but uh, a size large, I was a little bit put off by the price tag. I don't know what these op shops are doing, but $45, just way too steep. This one here, a really frustrating find. Uh, unfortunately, it's not genuine based on that, that tag that you can see there. Um, this is just a replica it's not worth anything at all and this one here as well again just a replica and if these were genuine they could have gone upwards of 50 to 60 dollars a piece so that was really really disappointing i moved into the dvds this is an instagram viewer poll question guys would you have bought this if you found it yourself well i've asked the instagram audience 16 dollars 50 worth of a purchase price i'll let you know a little bit later what the decision was on that one there but it is every single episode and that's always a pretty good thing i found this one as well back to the future the trilogy series what a movie series this one. I used to love watching it. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Did find some shoes in the shoe section though guys uh, these merrells were in excellent condition as you can see but at 25 dollars just a little bit too steep i speak about the brand merrell quite a bit in my videos and for good reason they do go on to sell very well these nike shoes well 15 dollars is my maximum purchase price and that's exactly what we've got right here so in good condition i've gone ahead and picked these up nike is my best selling brand when it comes to footwear and speaking of the brand nike i've also found this as well how about this we've got a nike vintage windbreaker jacket size extra large this thing is a relic at forty dollars though unfortunately just no wiggle room the best i could probably get is about eighty or ninety dollars for it but how nice is that i almost bought it for the personal but i really need to stop myself from buying stuff for myself because it would just fill up my house in no time 
Well, guys, we had an Instagram viewer poll question in there around Dawson's Creek, the complete series, one to six, every single episode. And whenever I find stuff like that, I usually get pretty excited. Now, comps on eBay, we're talking anywhere between $45 to $50. I put it up to you guys, and you guys said at $16.50 that it was definitely worth the purchase. So here it is right here. I've gone ahead and made the buy. Pretty excited about this one. Should make me about $25 worth of profit. I'm going to list it up for $50 and hope for the best. So we'll see how we go. Great DVD. Definitely one to be looking out for. Jumped into the video game section and I found this boxed up Nintendo Wii, but are you kidding? A $200 price point in the thrift? No, oh, that's stupid! Really stupid. Now guys, I'm at my favourite Lifeline store in Molendina and I've got this vintage allocation of direct from the US wholesale supply and I've gone through some of these items. This is the sort of stuff that I'm going to be trying to find when I'm over there in the States myself and I found this In-N-Out Burger t-shirt and if we can get this video to 500 likes, I'm going to do the Steve Will Do It In-N-Out Burger Patty Challenge. I watched a video of his and he ate 30 burger patties from In-N-Out. If you can get to 500 likes, I'm going to attempt 31 burgers. I'm going to be spending some time in Las Vegas as well. So this t-shirt really did catch my eye. How good was the movie, The Hangover? Wolf pack only. Find another chair. This cool ghoul t-shirt was a really cool find as well. Um, look, it's a single stitch t-shirt. That's the reason why I had some interest in it. Hopefully I can find a heap of vintage while I'm over there in the States. But there it is for reference. You just want to literally be looking for a single stitch. Pretty easy. Um, so this one here was a pretty cool tee to round out the three that I was able to find. I've got a couple of shoes here in the cycling range. And cycling wear always does pretty well for me, especially in the shoe category. 20 bucks on these Shimano's. It's actually an Instagram viewer poll question. I'm checking it out with you guys just to see what you would do. I know that cycling shoes just do go generally pretty well, but at 20 bucks, let me know in the comments below, is this something that you would commit to if you're in the thrift yourself? And I've jumped into some clothing as well for 10 bucks. I've got the jorts, the, the jean shorts here. We've got the 510s, 32 waist in pretty much light new condition as well. So I did have to go ahead and grab them. Anything Levi Strauss, you're always going to be picking up, aren't you? And this one here as well, we've got the Batman uh, board shorts for $6, believe it or not. A really nice pair here, the Batman uh, cartoon uh, pattern. But in the end, and I just don't know how much I'd get. Maybe 25 to 30 bucks on these. So for that reason, low profit, I ended up passing on this one. Well, guys, the Instagram view poll question for that one was the Shimano Road Cycling Shoes. And you guys have unanimously said to go ahead and pick them up. But you know what? I've left them behind. And based on your feedback, I almost kind of regret leaving them. I should have probably gone ahead and grabbed them. I was doing a search of the exact style code and there wasn't too much showing up for me. So I put them away. But if I'd done a broader search for just Shimano cycling shoes, it probably would have swayed me to go ahead and make the purchase. You can generally get between 60 to $80 for them. So uh, maybe a bad decision there. Probably should have sided with you guys, but we live and we learn, we keep going. So let's keep pushing. Op shop number four coming up. Well, guys, this was a really good pickup, a pair of Levi Strauss 501s, the Mac Daddies when it comes to the jeans, and they were in like new condition, 38 waist, 32 length, had to go ahead and make the grab for 10 bucks. Passed on these, though, might have been able to get about 35 for them, could have easily bought them if you're hunting down jeans, anything Levi Strauss, it's pretty much a no-brainer, you're going to go on to do pretty well, so happy with that little pickup there. Found these as well, these are a pair of um, they were a pair of Solar Boost women's running shoes, the comps actually weren't that great on eBay, a little bit surprising. So at the $20 purchase price on these ones, I did have to leave them. We're back home now, guys, and here's a look at everything that we've picked up in today's haul. It was incredibly tough to find items out there in the thrift today. We had a real struggle, but I've got 13 items. These three items I didn't show in the video, I wasn't able to record them because they were brought from out the back by the staff member and he gave me a really good discount. So I've got these two pairs of shoes, the Superstars and these Asics Tiger Onisukas for $7.50 each. So the 15 bucks for those two were awesome. And then I did pick these uh, Nike Wedge off the shelf as well for nine bucks. So I spent $23 on those three pairs of shoes. Uh, we obviously ended up getting the DVD, uh, game and another DVD, some shoes and some jeans. So albeit a very, very tough day out in the thrift, but I do want to have a quick chat about this camera. All right, so this was this was a big risk, to be honest, because like I said, I know nothing about cameras. I'd love to get your feedback in the comments below based on what I show you. If you know your cameras at all, definitely help me out by dropping your notes in the comments of this video. I'll start things off 
with the, uh, with the body. I've detached the lens. It's a Pentax K1000. It does appear to be in really good condition. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Have a look at some comps on eBay. And for the body itself, you're looking at about, well, there was one for 145 plus postage. There was another one as well for $185 for just the body, no lens on it. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so pretty much my money back right there in the body alone. And then we've got two lenses that we can work on as well. And the first lens that I've got this is an Asahi, um, this is, so it's Japanese, um, Pentax XM, it's the one 1.7 50 millimeter lens right there, and the glass, it, it appears to be fine. Um, there doesn't appear to be any any damage to this. Uh, have a look at some comps on eBay, and we're talking anywhere between sort of 55 to $60. There was another one for 70, and then there was another one for $115 in pre-owned condition. So I'm gonna anticipate about 75 bucks for this thing, and that's really surprising. I didn't realize that that might be worth as much as it is. The other one that I've got for you as well, this one here, this lens is a Pentax XA 1 2.8, 135 millimeter. There it is right there. And uh, this one, well, I, I had a really good comp on eBay for $180 in pre-owned condition for this lens right here. So I'm gonna anticipate, yeah, about 150 bucks, hopefully buy it now free postage. So I, I think as a bundle, I might be able to sell this all up for about $400. And buying it at a risk in an op shop where you don't have any knowledge about it for $125, if we can get this pulled off for 400 bucks on eBay, I will be ecstatic. And it will go a long way to the USA trip that we're hopefully about to go on in 10 weeks time. So if we have a look at those numbers from today, say this goes on to sell for 400 like I think it will, um, I'm gonna to anticipate today we've been able to recoup $890 off the 13 items. I think it'll all go on to sell for about 890 bucks per my estimates, and I'm always gonna to anticipate, today I'm gonna to anticipate about 45%, because I generally think that I receive in my pocket about 45% of whatever it goes on to sell. So that's gonna be about $400 that we're gonna to put to the kitty for our USA trip that we're about to go on. So uh, not too bad there, 400 bucks. It's not my best week. It was definitely slim pickings with only 13 items, but we might have come away with an absolute beauty here with this Pentax camera. Um, if you know anything about cameras, help me out. Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed any part of this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're still here watching now, it means you're enjoying it, and I do these videos every single week. And uh, a like really does help the channel out as well. So smash the like button. Appreciate you being here. If you missed last week's episode of The Trip to the Thrift, I'm gonna leave it right here, as well as a playlist to all the other videos you can find on my YouTube channel as well for this Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Appreciate you being here, guys. Thank you so much for the support. We'll catch you on Sunday.